This is an Ian Beckles flavor in your ear quick fix on Radio Influence. As you know, uh, I played in the league for officially nine years. I was actually went to 11 training camps. And we always hear stories about the litigation going on with uh, concussions and CTE. And, and I'm pretty versed on that because, you know, having done a radio show for as long as I did, uh, I read up on a lot of those things. So I kind of know a little bit uh, more than the average Joe about concussions. I said I was going to watch that concussion movie, but I ended up watching it and I thought it was very well done. Um, but um, Keith Lagori, who is a, a lawyer, uh, told me that I need to go and uh, start dealing with the concussion matters because, you know, I'm 50 years old. I'm not dealing with a whole lot now, although my memory is not the best in the world. Um, you know, I'm fine. I feel good physically, feel good mentally. But what you have to do is you got to get your name in the hopper and you got to get checked out by a doctor and see how you are cognitively. Uh, because if something happens 10 years from now, you have to get this done uh, your evaluation before a certain date. So today, which is the day that I'm taping, um, I went to the doctor this morning at 7.30, and I didn't leave there till about noon. So, and literally from 7.30 to noon, I never stopped answering questions for four and a half hours. So if I wasn't crazy before, I left that some bits crazy because I couldn't wait to get out of that damn place. You know, back in the day, the things that I excelled at, I'll be the first person to tell you, I, I didn't get great grades. I got average to below average grades. I probably had a 2.7 or something like that in, in college. I always thought I had the ability to do better, but, you know, that just, that wasn't my thing. But I've always done very well with IQ type tests. I, I graded out very well on the Wonder League test. I want to say I got 30 something, which was pretty good in, uh, I think in any era. Um, you know, my grades weren't great. I, I'm just good at IQ tests. And a lot of the tests they were giving today were IQ type tests. So at, there was times where I was shocking the guy how fast I was getting answers, like mathematical answers and stuff like that. I'm good at. Uh, and then we got to the uh, memory part. Uh, not so good. You know, there's it's like I don't know if I was just bad at it or just it was just a tough practice. Now, think about this. They had 14 words that you gave me. He would give you. And he would say, dog, statue, picture, orange, outlet, lightning bolt. He'll give you 14 of those and then come back and then he'll say lightning. And you have to tell you what word comes after that. So it sounds easy. It ain't because I, I was to the point where I was going to pull my eyeballs out. Uh, and then when you go through the 14, so you get three on the first try, he comes back and gives you the, name, the words again. Then he asks you them all over again, even the ones that you got. So as far as being stressful, this is probably one of the more stressful mornings that I've had in a long time. So I had four and a half hours of questioning, um, prodding. Uh, just when I thought I was done with the questionnaire, he handed me the last one. He goes, this one's kind of long. And I go, what do you mean it's kind of long? I looked at it and it had, I have it right in front of me. I stole it. No, I didn't steal it. I asked him for it. Uh, he goes, this is not normal practice. And I go, well, I'm not a normal dude. Uh, it has 338 questions on it. And I think what this questionnaire is trying to do, and now you can probably look it up on Google. It's the MMPI2RF, whatever the hell that is. Minnesota Multifacic Personality Inventory 2 uh, Restructured Form. Okay. It's a lot of stuff. There was 300 and 38 of these questions, and some of them I didn't know. I mean, you have to put true or false. Uh, and uh, that's one of the tougher questionnaire questionnaires I've done ever. And the thing is, there's no wrong or right answer. So uh, it took four and a half hours uh, for them to say that uh, maybe I'm a little cuckoo. And I think anybody that plays in the NFL and smashes their head against people for, uh, for a living, it's just, you know, it kind of goes with it. Uh, unfortunately, if you're sane, uh, you find yourself a good desk job, and uh, life's going to be a lot easier with that. You can find Ian Beckles' Flavor in Your Ear on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and RadioInfluence.com. 